Hi, I'm Lindsay Cox, Senior Manager for Advocacy and Outreach at HFA. This month's Dear Addie question comes from Medicare Beneficiary. It reads, Dear Addie, I'm a Medicare beneficiary weighing my plan options for 2022. What do I need to know about choosing a plan for the coming year? Sincerely, Medicaid Beneficiary. That's a great question, and it's important that you're being thoughtful and carefully weighing your plan options. Every year, Medicare open enrollment runs from October 15th through December 7th. This is the time of year when you can decide to stay with the Medicare plan you are currently on, or you can change to a new plan. Medicare has a lot of moving parts, and it can be confusing. So it's good that you're starting your research now. Here are some important points to remember when choosing a Medicare plan. What is Medicare? Medicare is a government health insurance program administered by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services for individuals 65 years or older and for individuals with a qualifying disability. Original Medicare includes hospital insurance, Part A, and medical insurance, Part B. You can also add prescription drug coverage, Part D, and Medicare supplement insurance, Medigap which covers deductibles for Part A and B that Original Medicare doesn't cover. Important note for people with bleeding disorders. Clotting factor and new non-factor hemophilia medication is covered under Medicare Part B and not under the Part D drug benefit. As an alternative to Original Medicare, you can choose to purchase an all-in-one privately issued Medicare Advantage plan that covers all your hospital and medical services, Part A and Part B. Most Medicare Advantage plans also offer prescription drug coverage, Part D. If you opt for a Medicare Advantage plan, you cannot also have a Medigap supplemental plan. What should I consider when deciding between Original Medicare and Medicare Advantage? Below is an infographic with additional information on the considerations you might want to take into account. What decisions do I have to make during open enrollment? If you are currently on a Medicare plan, you should review your provider's evidence of coverage, EOC, an annual notice of change, ANOC, to ensure that your plan will still meet your needs for the following year. If your existing plan no longer best serves your needs, you can change your coverage during the October 15th to December 7th window. You can switch among Medicare Advantage plans and prescription drug coverage, Part D. You can also switch from Original Medicare to Medicare Advantage or vice versa during this time. Your changes will take effect on January 1st, 2022. If you do not pick a new plan, you will be automatically renewed in your current coverage. Those with traditional Medicare who purchased a Part D plan to cover their prescription drugs, remember, Part D does not cover injectable bleeding disorders products, may want to review their existing plan to ensure it continues to offer the best coverage. This is especially true if you have changed medicines in the past year. Further. Health plans at this time transfer drugs to different coverage levels from year to year. So do not assume your current coverage will be the same going forward. Medicare Advantage plans may also change from year to year. So it is imperative that you review your coverage under the private insurance companies that manage your plan. You can find much more information about your Medicare options at www.medicare.gov including via the government's Medicare Plan Finder tool. Your State Health Insurance Assistance Program, or SHIP, is another helpful resource. You can find your local State Health Insurance Assistance Program's SHIP contact information below. For additional questions or comments, please don't hesitate to contact the HFA Policy and Advocacy Team at advocacy at hemophiliafed.org. As always, we enjoy getting questions from the community, so please keep them coming. Submit your questions to us at dearaddy at hemophiliafed.org.
Thank you.